Okay, in this video we're going to talk about the activities toolbar down at the bottom here. So first of all we'll use this tool here. This is the up and down. This is flips the activities with the observations at the top here. Just to make it more prominent here. And here what we can do, we can obviously move the activities around. So we can click on an activity, we can move it down, we can move it up. If we want to indent some of the activities to make them sub-selections, we can do that here. You see moving it to the right, right, or moving it to the left here. This just lets you create the, uh, make it easy for uh, people to navigate around here. If we want to add an additional level, we could say uh, add as a child. That means add it underneath it here. So I can click here, you see it creates a new item. And I could say it's a, um, it's a short walk here. So I just click in here. And I can change the description here. Short walk. Right? And then under that, I could add another one. So we can just add one right below it. Right? And then we can click this. This adds one down here. And this could be a long walk. Right? So you can just change the, uh, the descriptions here. Right? Again, if you want to change the sequence, you can just uh, highlight the one you're working with. Move it down, it'll flip them around for you here. So these are your uh, add as a child, insert the item above, insert the item below. Right, so you can say which one you want to use here. Import activities, you can import activities from a clipboard. So if you had it in Excel, you can just cut and paste it. Import from Excel or import from another VTS study right here. If you want to delete a particular observation, you select the one here. You just hit this. Are you sure you want to delete it? You say yes, it takes it out of there. Uh, this option here will just uh, clear the activity list. You'll be prompted before it clears them all. I don't want to do that. This will undo any particular deletion you've made. So if I click on that, it brings the last one back up here that I might have deleted. This we've already talked about, that flips it back up and down. Which one goes to the top? This maximizes activity list, which we'll put it up here. This maximizes the data grid, which will take away the activity list altogether. Okay, so we'll maximize the activity list again here. Uh, if you've got, uh, so if I delete this one, this one actually came from another study here. If I just delete that, right, I can import. Uh, import from a clipboard is very obvious. Import from Excel, you pick the Excel sheet. Import from another VTS, Video Timer st uh, Pro study. So you can do this, you can pick one you want to bring in. And it will just bring in the activities. These ones are the ones that we have buff size, buff bottom aside, and get next that were in that one that we pointed at there. So again, just making it easy for you to uh, to, to, man to manage your uh, data elements right here. So that's basically that's a summary of what's actually happening in the activity toolbar.